NASA has long been at the forefront of space exploration, helping us to uncover some of the universe's biggest kept secrets. Through years of compiled data, NASA along with other space agencies have helped launch us into a new age, an age where everyday people can study and explore the cosmos. We are constantly starting new missions in order to help humanity better understand the space around us. Interestingly, some scientists and researchers have said things that have led people to question whether we're truly alone. Since 2013, Dr. Milton Wainwright has been making some strange discoveries, 25 miles or 40 kilometers above the Earth. He's gone into detail about how his experiments are showing that something incredible is happening right now above the Earth, but frustratingly, he's having a hard time getting this information out there. Dr. Milton Wainwright revealed that he sent a balloon 84,000 feet into the atmosphere to collect dust and other particles. When he was reviewing the data once the balloon made its way back to Earth, however, he discovered inside the samples tiny metal balls that were made of titanium and vanadium, further saying that the structures were around the size of a human hair. Inside was a gooey biological substance. Once he reviewed these organisms underneath the microscope, he said that he could see the metal globes, and noted that these could have been designed by an intelligent species that was trying to seed life on Earth. Dr. Milton Wainwright went on to detail that the mysterious metallic ball seemed to be covered in a fungus, saying that it was knitted like a mat, and made a small impact crater where it hit the sampler, something that led him to believe that these structures were travelling at high speed. Understandably, the doctor was excited by this discovery, and so decided to carry out further tests. He discovered that the organisms test positive for DNA, and noted that these structures are six times bigger than the size limit of a particle which can be elevated from Earth to this height. He said the following, We sent balloons in a sampler and found no pollen or grass, nothing up there to contaminate. It was completely pristine. For these reasons we think the organisms are coming from space. All the time you walk outside, you're being pelted with organisms that come from space. Dr. Wainwright's research has been heavily debated by other scientists, saying that this isn't enough data to go by. The doctor responded with the following. The critics say the samples we obtain must have come from Earth, that there must be a mechanism which can lift these particles from Earth to the stratosphere. However, we've provided evidence that the DNA containing masses plus other strange organisms we've isolated and not associated with pollen, grass and fungal spores in our sampler. If our organisms come from Earth, they must be contaminated with common Earth organisms, and they're not. We will probably not be believed until NASA reports our findings. I suspect that NASA will then try to take credit, by claiming that their methods were somehow more sterile or precise. Dr. Wainwright, who specialises in microbiology, then revealed an image of these structures, saying that once in the lab they started to spew out a gooey substance. The doctor then theorised that this discovery could be an example of panspermia, which is the idea that Earth was seeded by an advanced civilization. He theorised that the strange metal sphere that released the gooey substance was actually the ingredients for life and that inside could have been a colony of tiny microorganisms. He continued with the following. The sphere made an impact crater on the sampling stump. This proves beyond doubt that the particle was travelling at speed from space when it was sampled. Using X-ray analysis to examine the strange object, the doctor discovered that the round sphere was actually made from titanium. The team also described that it had a fungus-like knitted mat-like covering. Wainwright published his findings in the Journal of Cosmology, but those who checked back in order to see what was made of this study revealed that the article had been removed. As we move forward, people are starting to look to the stars for answers. 
There's many that believe our history lies within the cosmos, and that something may have created life on Earth. This theory is disputed by scientists and researchers, who say we have a good understanding of human history. However, others have said that we should be open-minded when it comes to science and our history, and that in order for us to move forward as one we should listen to these ideas and theories, and carry out further tests, especially when scientists like this have physical evidence. This isn't just a theory. The scientists and his team were able to gather the necessary data in order to put forward this theory, meaning that other scientists should follow this up with further studies, in order to get to the bottom of what they discovered. As some researchers have said, it's important that these findings are shared with the scientific world, and that our world's best minds can get to the bottom of what these things are. Asking questions is how we learn and move forward, and perhaps could ultimately answer some of the biggest questions. Will we ever understand the nature of consciousness? Does humanity have a future beyond Earth? And are life forms currently trying to make contact? So what do you make of this interesting discovery? And what do you think the doctor and his team discovered? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.